What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel chatting with you today about the Gymshark Elevate collection. This collection has yet to be released. It will be launching this Thursday, October 13th at these times. This is a brand spanking new collection from Gymshark, never before seen, just like the sweat collection that just launched. Here we are with the Elevate. Speaking of the sweat, I didn't forget about that video. I actually already filmed it. We just have to edit it and post it. I wanted this video to go up first for you because this collection hasn't released yet, so I figured this video would be super useful for you. So I actually posted an Instagram Dropbox in my stories asking you guys if you had any questions about the new Gymshark Elevate. Lots of questions, put it that way. You guys. Have a ton. I figured this would be easier rather than me doing my traditional review video where I try to cover any questions you guys may have. Now I figure we reverse that and I just nip it in the bud by asking you guys straight up, what would you like to know? And then break it down right here for everybody to see. Cause I'm assuming if someone has a question, a lot of you will have the same question. In fact, I did get a lot of similar questions. So we're gonna be covering a lot in today's video. So throughout the video, you will be seeing questions. Let me know if you guys like this method because if you do, I'll be more inclined to do this in future review videos. So definitely be sure to follow me on Instagram, keep tabs on those stories. I'll always let you know what videos are coming up next and keep tabs on YouTube. I've been loving YouTube shorts as a little preview of what to expect next. So if you're not already, definitely consider subscribing. And I do wanna take a quick second to thank you guys who show support by shopping through my Gymshark link. It helps keep these reviews coming more than you know. It's because of you that this review today is possible. So thank you. I don't know if you guys keep tabs on Gymshark Women's Instagram, but they actually have Lori Harvey in on this collection. She is looking good. These pieces are beautiful. There's no doubt about that. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. So this range is not a seamless range. I know we all love our seamless, but sometimes in life, you gotta do without it, right? This collection overall is a very low impact collection. Really good for yoga, Pilates, calisthenics, and of course, athleisure, my favorite. But I do believe you can get away with working out, doing certain exercises in the gym with these. I did in fact test them out for you. I had some questions about how they hold up running and things like that, so that I did. So you will see clips of me trying these out in the gym sprinkled throughout the video. The sizes will range from extra small to extra, extra large. Your new favorite versatile gym wear that does it all. Whether you bar, flow, or brunch, the Elevate range has you covered. This line sees new styles, colorways, and a brand new fabric named RLSE. Okay, okay, Gymshark. Unrestricted yet supportive movement, paired with buttery smooth fabric and elastic free waistbands for a flattering and flush fit, makes Elevate the ultimate studio and lifestyle comfort accessory. This collection has been designed for those who look for high intensity, but low impact exercises. People that love to have fun with fitness and choose their conditioning activities for the social and mental health aspects, as well as for physical wellness. Types of activities, yoga, Pilates, bar fitness. So you do have solids for those who like a little more subtlety with their sets, but you also have a really beautiful tie dye print. Gymshark actually used a spray dye technique so that every piece is unique. So the colors we're looking at are black, moss olive, rose brown, cement brown, lakeside blue, and then for the prints, it's black print, lakeside blue print, cement brown print. I think you already know that cement brown print is my jam in this collection. We are looking at sports bras, a tank top, zip jacket. Do keep in mind the zip jackets won't be available in America, it's international only. Cycling shorts, leggings, flares, all in ones, all right. The cement brown print all in one is North America only. Track jackets, and there's gonna be some accessories launching as well. So when it comes to the sports bras, we're looking at a long line design. So you have material that covers the rib cage, no elastic band, just material that lies flat that I like to tuck up underneath. This is non-adjustable. You do have removable bra pads though, which is good. So the shorts, eight inch inseam. You have a slight V-shaped seam in the front, no front seam. The back though, the back seam connecting the band to the piece is very straight, straight as an arrow. Don't know if I love that. I love to have curvature on the glutes rather than a straight across seam. That's just me. I also got a question whether or not there's a seam at the top of the band and there is not. 
Nobody wants a dig right in the midsection. That's the worst. That's totally uncalled for. Now you do have seams down here. We're gonna test out the cinching on the thigh area. So the leggings are the same deal as the cycling shorts in terms of construction, seam placement, and things like that. Again, same behind here. Look how straight across that is. I got a lot of gals asking, is it like a Lululemon Align, Alpha Lee Alpha Lux? Is it like the Buff Bunny Nubre, the Whitney Collection, the training? Like, what is this material like? This material is very, very, very buttery soft, but it is not brushed. There's a big difference between a brushed material where it almost feels like there's a slight fuzziness to it. This is the opposite of that. This, as soft as it is, is very slippery. So whereas the Alpha Lee Alpha Lux, Buff Bunny Nubre, and the Lululemon Align tend to have a real brushed feel to them, this has a very slippery wicking feel. With that being said, if you're wondering, ooh, does it slip? Is it a little slippery? So I do believe that if you're working out in the gym, and especially if you're somebody like me who likes to hike their leggings up to make the glutes look good and fire, <laughs> I do think that you will experience some slipping, especially if you hike them up. If you're somebody just wearing them athleisurely or at the gym and you're not hiking them up, you don't care, they're not just gonna slip down your bum. It's not like that. So this isn't my true size small. Remember, there's no adjustments or anything. I think it's fairly true to size. I notice when working out really bending like this, there's some potential of this area being seen. It gets just a tad loose in certain areas, especially when I was really stretching and going down. I felt like right around here started to get a bit, like there's a big dip going on here and people can see my chest. With that being said, I think if you're in between, definitely a size down rather than up. I would probably stick to a small because it's not adjustable. I really don't think that sizing down to an extra small would do me any good in this department because I hate a bra dig. Right here is my sensitive spot. So if I sized down to an extra small, I do think that this would run the risk of digging and I don't want that. I think I'm pretty okay here. I think a small is okay. And I think it's really important to remember that Gymshark pretty much made it known that this is for low key purposes only, athleisure, going out to brunch and things like that. <laughs> now, if I'm going out using this athleisurely, this flap here, stays down. I actually really like the fact that my stomach's not showing and that I have the option to tuck it up if I want to get a little frisky. See what I mean? I actually work like this at the gym. I prefer working out in sports bras that are cut like this, so I just tuck it up a little bit. And what's cool is if I leave, I need to do some stuff, run around, that kind of thing. Ah, there you go. Now let's chat about these leggings. I actually got a question whether this is a true high rise or not. Because a lot of people love to hike their leggings up, it could look really high rise, but not actually be high rise. So this is what it's looking like on me, not hiked up, just as is. It is definitely a true high rise. It'll shimmy just a little bit, but not enough to bother me. If you're somebody, like I said before, if you're someone who really hikes it up, and this is how you want it to stay, it's not gonna do that. <laughs> And I don't blame you if this is how you want it because it's not the most flattering on the glutes. It's not horrible. The seam does maybe a little bit of something, but I have to be real. I think that this seam going straight as an arrow across isn't the most flattering. I just feel like the back seam here doesn't complement these bottoms like the front seam does. I love a nice curvature to the seam. Really wish they did that on the back side, but not a huge deal. Wearing this athleisurely, I'm not really gonna see back here anyway. It is a good length on me, I'm five foot three. I will have the inseam right here. And remember, this isn't a size small. I don't know what it looks like for like a medium or a large or anything. Let's talk concealment. Camel toe area, totally fine. I am wearing seamless undies, Ebby for the win. In terms of cellulite concealment, especially in this print, yeah, it's doing the job. When I squat, this print is not fading, which is a huge concern to me when it comes to patterns like this. So zero fade, very, very, very squat proof. So I'm really pleased to see that, especially because there's a lot of light areas on this legging. And I really think if you're in between sizes with the legging to size down, you do have a really nice stretch. I mean, the band, not very compressive at all. So if you want a little more compression, a little better support, and you want something that 
maybe won't slip as much or just something that feels a little more compressed around the waistband area, then consider sizing down if you're in between. But my small fits perfectly. It's so comfortable. I did get a question about sweat concealment. Now, there's no doubt in my mind you're not gonna see sweat in this crazy of a pattern, but that's not to leave out the solids. Let's go ahead and check sweat in the solid color. This rose brown looks like a really, really dark, deep coral color. Even the seams are more minimal because they blend right in, super tonal, so you don't have that heavy contrast seam. Very nice piece, this is complete yogi. Only downfall is if cellulite concealment is a priority of yours, I would stick with the pattern because you do see a little bit of that cellulite through the solid legging. Like I said before, I'm not concerned with the print. I think that that's gonna be fine when it comes to sweat concealment. This color, this is the one I'm concerned with. Whoa, baby. Ooh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh no. That ain't good. <laughs> so this is pretty bad for the sweat. <laughs> I would not suggest sweating heavy in this. I know Gymshark made it very clear. This collection is just a low key collection. And I don't know about you, but I sweat during yoga, especially if you're thinking about doing hot yoga in this. No. <laughs> yeah, this is a no go. If you're gonna sweat, stick with the darker colors. If you're somebody just wearing this athleisurely, you'll be fine in this color. Pretty good in the squat proof department. I'll give it about a 90%. Not as good as the print though. You know, I have to say, there's so much to love about this collection. If they added, <laughs> you know I'm about to say this. If they added a subtle scrunch like the Whitney on this and just arched the seams, I think we'd all be just in love. Now I know that you guys have been wanting minimal logos. Every time Gymshark launches like the flex, what the flex, and there's this big Gymshark logo, the comment section is riddled with hatred. <laughs> so I think that they uh, came to the conclusion that okay, minimal logos is where we're at right now. You have the dark shark face logo on the bottoms with the very dark contrast seams, right? Real dark, deep blue. The bra, the matching bra has the opposite contrast, so we have the light blue seams going on up top with the light blue shark face logo. When you look at this print, the top and the bottom with the logo, the seams, it's all consistent. This blue, it isn't. No band gave either on the leggings and shorts. When squatting, nothing, it stays nice and close. And this print is pretty squat proof as well. So it's looking like the print's really good for squat proof. When I saw Gymshark launching all-in-ones, you already know. I love all-in-ones so much. They're the easiest thing in life to dress up. We're down. <laughs> the only downfall to all-in-ones is when I have to go to the bathroom. I think we can all relate, but nevertheless, it's still cute, so you gotta deal with it, right? So I wanna make it known that this collection has a hella lot of seams going on. The beautiful thing is that they're flat lying and you don't feel them. Again, I worked out in a full set. I don't feel them. There's no dig, nothing uncomfortable. Thank goodness. This all-in-one is an eight inch inseam. So keep that in mind. You're not gonna find short shorts in this collection. So the all-in-one is literally a fusion of the sports bra and cycling shorts all in one. I'm a little shocked that this didn't come with bra pads because you have the insert and everything. There's just no physical bra pads going in there. Did they forget about it? There is a slight dig because you have the seam on the bottom. Not enough for me to size up though, because right here, there's a little lip going on here, a little lip action. If I size up, it could only get worse. So I won't do that. I ain't gonna size down either. I do think that it would just make this worse. So I'm gonna stick to my true size small. If you're in between, I would probably say if this is not a concern of yours, you can get away with sizing down if you're in between. And of course, if we have similar measurements. I have got to touch base on how similar <laughs> this cement print is to my Lululemon Align leggings. Check that out. I had to do a double take. I was like, wait a minute. Now my Lululemon Aligns look a little more hazy, but damn it, that's not like the same pattern. <laughs> now, if you know Lululemon Aligns, you know that there's a front seam. I have to hand it to Gymshark for not putting a front seam here. I'm not sure what the price points on these new pieces are gonna be. I never receive information like that before the launch, but I'm gonna go with my gut on this one. And I'm gonna go ahead and say that it won't 
compare to the Lululemon Aligns <laughs> in a good way. I know Gymshark's getting pricier by the day. <laughs> So don't expect this to be like 2019 Gymshark prices, inflation and shit like that. I do think it's gonna be more affordable than Lululemon, just saying. If you guys wanna keep yourself busy for hours, get the cement print. <laughs> you will find all sorts of shit going on in this print. It's crazy. Like right here, I'm seeing a man's head with a beard, his eyes, and then he's wearing like a hat. Is like he? a fuzzy hat, yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, I'm seeing some there's some devilish shit going on in here. Damn, bro, you've been watching too many scary movies. I know. This looks like coffee grinds. This one's freaky. Look at the nose. I know. And he's got a mustache. I know. We watch scary movies every single night, so that's where my mind goes. I hope that you see something more lighthearted. Do me a favor, if in any of the up-close overlap you see something strange, throw the timestamp down there and what you saw, so I can refer back to it. I love shit like that. So this flare legging is a little bit interesting. I have a love-hate relationship with it. <laughs> I think it's very flattering, except there's one big thing that I just can't get behind. And I think you guys know if you look up close. What is it? Take a guess. What the f is this? Why is there a front seam here? What about this particular piece made Gymshark go? You know what? Let's karate chop that in half. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't too pleased when I first saw that. I was like, are you kidding me? So I actually picked up this neutral tank to pair with either the flares or the cement brown print. So check out the bottom of this tank top. Look at that sharp angle. Not only is it angled, but you actually do have a little bit of cinching going on right here. As you can see, it flares out ever so slightly. I think that adds to the overall real flattering lay when wearing it. It is extremely stretchy. Look, whoa. This feels like that slime from the 25 cent machine that you just like, and it just sticks to things. That's what I feel right now. This has a very tiny, tiny ribbing going throughout. I'm literally appalled that Gymshark would put a dreaded CT causing front seam on these absolutely stunning flares. No front seam on the leggings, no front seam on the shorts, no front seam on the bodysuit, but the flares? I'm lost here, I'm lost. This ruined it for me. I am getting a dreaded CT, even with seamless underwear. I think that goes without saying. Like, this is just, you're asking for it. We still have the T seam on the back. The band construction is the same, dipping in the front. Overall, just as comfortable as the leggings. You can see right around my upper knee, right around the kneecap areas where it starts to loosen a little bit. In terms of a length, that's a big question. I'm five foot three, and it's long. If it was about three inches shorter, I'd be fine. So I would say this is tall girl friendly, depending on your height. I'm gonna go ahead and say that these are way more high rise than the leggings. You see how far they're coming up compared to the other ones? Yeah. This is obviously a going out pant, not made for the gym. I purposely paired it with this tank top because I think it flows nicely. The angle really adds a little sass to the piece. Very cute. So I'm just gonna give it a little slack here. You can see a little bit of wrinkling going on here. I think I'm gonna like this tank a little bit better with the printed leggings more than the flares, now that I'm looking at it. Perfect little lightweight top to add over your set. It literally feels like I'm wearing nothing. Last but not least, what I have to share with you today is the cropped, cropped track jacket. So when I first saw this, I was like, oh my God, this is so cute, yay, I love it. Oh. I thought this was more of those like crew sweater crop jackets, almost like the KK fit but no, it is a straight up wind breaker. So this is extremely lightweight, full zip. You do have two pockets on the front. They are angled pockets. So lightweight, I think it looks really cute with the tight bodysuit underneath. You have the bat wing sleeve, a little baby collar up top, fitted wrists and fitted right around the waist as well. There's no draw cord or anything, so you can't cinch in if you wanted to. It just is what it is. So this is what it looks like full zip. Got a little halfway action going on. Ooh, okay. And then all the way down and open. I do love that baggy top. There's no stretch in this. It's just a windbreaker fabric. So I would say stick to your true size. If you're in between, I do think you can get away with sizing down because that bat wing gives you a little extra space but I would suggest sticking to your true size. All right guys, so that concludes today's Gymshark Elevate review. Raise your hand if you're shopping the launch on Thursday. Let me know. 
you have any other questions, feel free to ask. I hope I helped you guys out big time with this video. You know, I always try to get these videos up before the launch date when I receive the pieces beforehand. You will always get the facts that you need as well. If you found this review helpful, please do consider using some of my support links down in the description box. Helps us out big time keeps these reviews coming for you. And if you do choose to use any of them, please do let me know so I can personally show you some love. Thank you all so much for being here. I love you guys and I'll catch you in my next video. If this isn't a man looking right back at me, I don't know what is. He's got the crazy mohawk hair, hollowed out eyes. Even eyebrows, look at the eyebrows. He's got eyebrows. Oh, or mascara. Okay. No, you mean eyelashes. Sure, whatever, same thing. No, it's not the same thing. Look at that thick ass mustache he's got too. Oh my god. Crazy bastard. I could never work out in these heavy sweats. I could never do it. Just say for yourself. You gotta trust the thrust. Trust the thrust is right. You trust just gotta have that trust for the thrust. Don't sleep on the glute drives. No, hell no. I don't care what you Nope. My glutes have been perkier than everything, so the glute drive. Oh my god! I lost it. I almost it had it. Sounded like you fucking. I almost had it. That was, that was that's my bad knee, Ashley. See, I don't bullshit, baby. <laughs> I don't bullshit. It sounds like snap, crackle, pop. <laughs>